So, out here testing out the uh, go to paddle board, the uh, fishing model. It's uh, 11 feet long, 33 inches wide, and 6 inches thick. And it paddles really nicely, it tracks really well, it's got a lot of glide. Uh, I haven't loaded it down crazy much with gear yet. But it seems like it would handle it really well. I have a crate set up for it. A foldable crate like you could get at Walmart for what, 15 bucks or something. And that fits a, fits a little personal cooler fits uh, my boat box for my flies and it'll fit 10 of those little mini Plano boxes the ones that are about this big by this big I don't know what that is 4 by 10 or something so they seem seems like it'll hold a ton of gear and this isn't this is only inflated it's a little uh a little wobbly right now. Uh, I only have inflated the 10, 12 psi, and it goes up to uh, 15. But the thing, I'm still moving. I stopped paddling a little while ago. Yeah, look, I'll take, I'll take a couple of paddles. I'll do four on each side. Two. That's a pretty good amount of glide. Still going. So yeah, I like this thing. It's pretty stable. It's got a lot of gear mounts. I got D-rings here, D-rings behind me, handle in the middle. Then I've got four D-rings behind there where my I got my life jacket there. Still moving forward a little bit. We got six D-rings up here. I got this waterproof speaker mounted on the dry box so I could have some music. I'm listening to the Proto Men right now. Check that album out. It's so good. Uh, I think I'm on Act 2 now. But it's it's a it's a crazy good album if you're into the Mega Man lore. And you could stand up on this pretty easily too. Look at that. And I'm a little wobbly. I haven't used paddle boards all that much. In fact, this is my second time ever out on one. So, bear with wobble. <laughs> I'm probably standing a little far forward too. I should jump back. Much better. Oh yeah. Actually, that's a lot nicer. I don't know, I'll have to measure the size of the fin when I get back to like, the removable one. Cause it's got three. Got some bait coming up ahead of us here. I don't know what what's all in here. Alu wives or something, who knows? Little shiners. I was out earlier. I caught two spotted bass. One was about 15-ish uh, inches. I didn't measure it, even though there's a measuring tape right here. Dang it, I should have. Frick. Yeah, this thing's got a 20-inch measuring tape on it. Yeah, it was about 15, looking down here. Maybe a little more now that I look. But uh, the other one was only like 12. Small one. But this, uh, I'm at a W. Kerr Scott Reservoir. And, it, and this place is loaded. Hit the boat launch by the, uh, by the earthen dam. And then head left. Uh, into this cove here. God, is it loaded with spots. Schools of them. 
I caught two out of that one school. There was five of them in it. This is this is a nice boat. I'm liking this paddleboard thing. I actually like it more than the kayak because it's it's even smaller. You fit in nicely. Everything into the into the truck. It's nice and it's quiet. It's a lot more stable than I thought. I could fly fish off this thing no problem. Ooh, there's a big tree here. I'm actually gonna kneel down in case I hit uh, one of these branches with my fin. Oh, no bass back in here. Oh, this is a mud bottom right here. I'm gonna turn around. And check this out. Look at the, oh, there's a bass. Look at the turn radius. The paddle feels decent. It doesn't feel like it's a total piece of crap. Like, I've seen some really garbage paddle. And there's a built-in GoPro mount. A built-in GoPro mount right on the front where you guys are. So you can film your adventures. It's just, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice board. I'm very impressed. There's trees in the water here all over. Oh, go around this branch. This is why boats don't come in here too often. Watch out. That's a fishing pole piece. Hang on a sec. Sorry to break the silence. I just found the tip of a fishing rod. I thought it was a stick. Yeah, we'll take that out of the, out of the water though. We don't want to trash in the water. This water's warm too. forward, this thing's actually quite hard to turn. <laughs> You've got to back paddle in order to, to make a real sharp turn like that. But you know what? I am I am happy with that because that means it, it tracks good. I like how this thing tracks. Yeah, he dead. Yeah. Huh. What's he got in his mouth? Hook. Get this hook out. Ugh. Man, this thing stinks. Look at the claws on this. Back you go, buddy. May you rest in peace. God, that thing stinks. I don't want to take that back. I wish I had my camera with me. I didn't really trust it though outside of a dry bag, but it's in, considering this is my first time out on a board. <laughs> I was looking behind me and leaned too much. 
have the leash on, so it doesn't matter. Board overall. I'll take a uh, I'll take a walk around uh, a bit later on once I get it out of the water and uh, show you all the features so you can check it out. All right, here we got the full paddleboard set up. You can see Gochir 11 uh, foot by 33. We got the GoPro up front. Moving back, we got the compass, dry box with speaker. We got the anchor. We got ourselves our net, fishing rod, and I could even put uh, extra rod holders on the sides of this crate if I needed extra rods. We got Moving to the crate uh, that's bungeed down to these D-rings. We got our uh, fish grippers, uh, the fish rag, wiping your hands off, two pairs of serrated scissors, a pair of pliers, then I got my I got my pirate flag. Got our life jacket strapped to the back. Paddle leash. There's the fin. I don't have it in because I'm sitting on on dry land. Got a little cooler. Put your drinks and snacks in. Maybe a couple fish, or just toss them on a stringer on one of these uh, side D rings here. Got my fly box, big box for the boat. Got five tackle boxes here, four and then a bigger one, plus rain gear. And the paddle. Comes with two rod holders. Like I said before. So yeah. This is a pretty pretty nice little boat. Or a paddle board, I mean. A little full walk around. So you can see exactly how it's all secured. And this don't go nowhere. That's not going anywhere. And there's plenty more free D-rings to attach a lot more stuff. Throw a dry bag on the front, take the uh, PFD off the back and just strap it to the top of the crate and put another dry bag on the back, a smaller one. Could strap a beach chair on these D-rings here and then uh, put another strap around the whole board, uh, keep it in place. 
Got our anchor and everything. Yeah. The SS bitch is a fine vessel, I'd say. <laughs>